Hello, everybody. Welcome to my Wednesday stamping class. Just getting everything set up. It's raining here. <laughs> we had a really nice day. And um, about five o'clock, well, I was working downstairs here all afternoon because this is where my printer is. And so I got done with work at five o'clock and Rosie and I went upstairs and I'm like, wow, it's really dark out. So Rosie, come on, let's go outside. And we were outside like 30 seconds and it just started downpouring. So yeah, well, it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> but my iPad isn't working. <laughs> there we go. Hi, Janet. So I hope everybody's having a great week. Um, oh, so you had the rain earlier and now the sun is out. Um, yeah, we can't really complain. It's been beautiful here. I mean, we really need the rain. Um, our grass is looking kind of brown, so. <laughs> um, yeah, not much else new. I've been super busy. Hi, Michelle. Good to see you here. Um, yeah, I, so I decided, I don't know, just kind of spur of the moment this weekend that um, I usually sell my stuff like every year. And it's been a couple of years since I've sold my old stuff. And uh, so I had like six boxes and I just, on a whim, I'm like, I wonder if I just posted this stuff for sale on Facebook that I wanted to sell and I wonder if anyone would be interested and um, Wow, I've sold a lot of stuff So that's pretty cool. And uh, so I've been working on that and um, a few other projects we have a really awesome promotion starting in July um, So that's really exciting. I'll share that with you next week um, also next week I will be sharing my next class to go, which is super exciting. Um, from what I heard, everybody loved my first one, so I thought I'd do it again. And so I'll be sharing details of that next week as well. Um, the wind quit. Oh, Janet says, yeah, Janet had said it was raining up north earlier and now it's sunny. Oh, you're going to have a fire. Okay, I'm jealous. <laughs> that sounds pretty great. Um, yeah, I'm buying lots. Yeah, <laughs> so let's see. Um, so yeah, there's like 10 bags back there um, that I'm going to be delivering. There's a lot of other miscellaneous stuff just kind of laying around back there, you know, one or two things I didn't put in bags. Um, some of you might have more than one bag. <laughs> so, um, yeah, what I'm gonna do, like I'm gonna send everybody a list and I'll email it to them. And uh, you can just, you know, if you change your mind on something or whatever, and, and I'll just uh, send you a list to review before we finalize and, um, and some of you up north, I'm trying to convince my husband to let me come up for 4th of July weekend for one day. Um, Cause uh, yeah, he's, and you know, like I'm immune compromised. I have an autoimmune disease. I take medication that compromises my immune system. Plus my doctor said that with me having been sick for like a month and a half, um, he said, I just really need to be careful. So that's, that's why, um, you know, Tim's a little hesitant when I want to go somewhere. And I really haven't gone anywhere um, since this all started in March. I went to see my mom once. And that was after I actually had a COVID test and it was negative. Because um, that's what we thought that I might be sick with when it ended up lasting for six weeks. But it was negative. It was just a really bad cold. But... 
because my immune system's compromised, I get sick and it takes me forever to get better. So, so anyway, um, so if I do come up north, I can bring some stuff with me um, and it'll save everybody shipping expense. So, okay, I think I'm gonna turn the camera around and get the stamping started. Um, so if you don't like the jittery stuff, um, close your eyes and I'll let you know when it's okay. Oh, I think I flipped my camera the wrong way. There we go. My goodness. It's like a big deal sometimes. <laughs> So I was going to announce the winner from last week. Um, so I drew Michelle's name. So yay, Michelle, you're going to get this card in the mail that I used um, the Tasteful Touches stamp set to make last week. So I'll be sending that out. Um, thank you to everybody that liked and commented and shared. Uh, so make sure you're doing that again tonight, and then I will do a drawing for next week. Um, so I decided somebody had commented that they wanted to see me do the watercolor wash technique. And so I was like, hmm, I could do that. I guess that's something that I've known how to do for a while. And um, there's a lot of different ways to do it. So tonight I'm just going to do, I wanted to kind of keep it basic, but I, you know, I'm going to do it with three colors. And, um... So we just basically are going to blend those together. So I've got my card base here. This is um, soft sea foam. It's a really pretty light green color. So that's what I'm going to use as my base tonight. This is the host code for June, if anyone's interested. Um, I like to put it there. I, I've seen a lot of other demos do it, and I didn't know why. But now I know that because then it's there if you ever go back and watch the video. So <laughs> that's why that's there. <laughs> I learn new things all the time. So I'm going to use these three colors for my watercolor tonight. I'm going to use the soft sea foam. If I can get the... There we go. <laughs> I was having a little bit of trouble. And then I'm going to use pear pizzazz as my medium color. And I've got garden green. It's a really dark color, so I'm going to be really careful. But as I said, I wanted to um, I wanted to kind of show a little bit of blending. So, so I've got these three colors, and this is my watercolor paper. It's different than the regular Whisper White. Um, it's very textured. It's 100% cotton, very absorbent. Um, that being said, I don't want it soaking wet. And my disclaimer right now, <laughs> I'm using the old Aqua Painter. These are discontinued. There's new ones in the new catalog. I did order them. However, they've not arrived yet. And so today I was like, Hmm, should I rethink my project? Because I already had this planned, and I was like, no. So just so you guys know, I don't make a habit of using things that we no longer sell, but there are new water, water painters in the catalog. I ordered them, and I just don't have it yet. So I'm using the old one, but I believe we'll get the same effect. So, okay, whenever I watercolor... Um, this is basically, you squeeze it, and then the water is going to run down. Let's see if you guys can see that. So you can kind of see the water flowing down through the tip when I squeeze it. You want to get the water flowing, so I usually let it drip once or twice. 
then I know that it's um, flowing through the tip. And so what I'm going to do, I like, to, I guess, like I said, everyone does it their own way. I'm going to do it my way. I like to get the paper a little bit wet beforehand. So um, I don't know if you can see that, but I just did a quick brush over the paper just to get the paper wet. So then what I'm going to do, and again, there's several ways to do this. Um, I like to put my re-inker I like to put a drop of the re-inker in the base of the ink pad there. Um, so I'm gonna go grab that because I didn't get that ready. <laughs> okay, so this is what I like to do just because I feel like it's easier. I'm gonna take a drop and that's all I need is a drop. Another way you can do it is sometimes, here. Sometimes I use my big acrylic block and I'll just put a drop on the block like that. You really don't need much. So this will be a little bit easier maybe for you guys to see. I'm gonna put this away. <laughs> Sorry for all the confusion. All right, so we got the paper a little bit wet. I don't know what that was. My brush is wet. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to mix that ink with water because you don't want it real thick. And I'm just gonna brush it on and blend. Because I don't want it real dark, I want it light. Okay, but I want it a little bit darker in the middle because I'm going to go light at the top and then darker toward the bottom. So, okay, then you want to clean your brush real good. So I brush the tip until it's clear. And then I'm going to come in with the medium color. This is Pear Pizzazz. And I just want one drop. I'm going to turn this so you guys can see and maybe just get that out of the way. So as you can see, I always have a paper towel handy when I'm doing this. That way, because then sometimes if you get too much water on there, you got to kind of dab it off, but that looks really good. So I'm going to make sure the water's flowing again. And I'm going to come in here and blend that ink with some water. And I don't want it super dark because I'm going to blend it here. bit more down here. And again, I'm kind of getting a puddle in the corner, so I'm just going to come in and dab up some of that extra water. And then I'm going to clean off my brush. And I'm going to blend this one more time because like I said, I want it blended together. That looks really good. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this and just wipe that right off. It's water-based ink, so it doesn't stain your blocks. And, oops, now I got things flying. So here, this was the other thing I wanted to show you. If you give your ink pads a squeeze, you'll end up with a nice pool of ink in there. And I do that a lot too. I do it for um, for this purpose or, um, you know, if I'm gonna be doing some water coloring with images and, and whatnot, that's a really good way to pick up some extra ink. Okay, 
So now we're going to do the bottom. I want that a little bit darker actually. It's too watery, so I'm gonna grab some from over there. And blend real good. I want it a little bit darker. And so now I'm gonna clean off my brush again so I can finish blending. I want to blend those medium and dark colors together. But I'm wiping off my brush because I don't want too much water either. So that looks really good. So Janet's trying to have a fire every night. That's my goal too. Um, we're hoping in a couple of years we can build a fire pit in our backyard, and I feel like we would be outside every night as well. Um, when the weather's nice, of course, but yeah, I love our backyard. I love our neighborhood. I love being outside, and I would love to have a fire pit. Um, right now, like, we have our neighbor friends that live across the street, so we go to theirs quite a bit, and um, it'd be nice to host once in a while. <laughs> So, okay, so did that kind of make sense for you guys? Do you see how I did that? Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and I'm trying to watch the comments so that I can answer any questions. Um, it kind of looks olive on the screen, but it really isn't. I'm gonna bring in my heat tool and I'm gonna dry this a little bit. And that's one thing about this paper I really like. It dries pretty quick. And um, yeah, it's great paper. All right. Okay, so I decided this is my week four video for my new catalog launch party. And I'm just going back to my favorite, which is Forever Fern. I love this set. And like once I started watercoloring for this project, I was like, oh wow, these are, look, these are gonna look great with that background. So this is what I'm gonna use. <laughs> so I'm bringing in Garden Green. And I'm going to start with, I'm going to use this big leaf image. I'm going to dry this a little bit more because if I stamp on it while it's wet, it's going to, um, it'll be a mess. I've done that before and the ink just kind of starts to spread instead of staying in an image and it ends up in a blob. And we don't want that. Okay, now it's nice and dry. So I'm going to stamp my leaf. Um, I'm gonna put them about here. Isn't that awesome? That looks so good. And then I want my pear pizzazz. And I'm gonna put this one down here. And then I'm gonna stick another little one down here. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna do the darker color. I'm gonna put this little guy off to the side like that. And I think I 
that's a little hard to see. The other thing about watercoloring is you don't always, like you never get the same thing twice. So you can see I just stamped this in the lighter color and in the other project I did when I was planning all this, it looked really nice, but this is much darker than the first time I did it. So I'm just gonna come back and do it in a little bit darker color. And I'll just kind of go over it so it'll look okay, like that. So then there's kind of a lighter one that you can't really see. <laughs> and then what I wanna do, I'm gonna close these up. I just inked my finger. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do some splotching. This, I love this stamp, it's so messy. <laughs> and it's like effortless, you know. You just ink it up and just give it some splotches like that. Um, yeah. And then it's quite random, wherever you feel like you need splotches. All right. Oh, this ink pad's really difficult to close. There we go. Okay, so I've got a garden green base for that. Oh, isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. It's definitely a stunner. <laughs> And I'm just gonna put some glue on the corners because um, the paper was wet, so now it may curl up a little bit, and we don't want it to curl up, you know, after you give it to someone or anything like that. So when it comes to water, I make sure that I glue really well. And I'm gonna give it a little um, burnish. I don't know if you guys know this, but. This just helps seal the glue. That is so pretty. Okay, so the other thing I wanna do, I wanna stamp some leaves as the background on my base. So I'm gonna bring in that soft sea foam ink. and this leaf image. And I'm just gonna randomly um, think very random. I'm definitely just making this up as I go. But it adds a little something, you know? And that's pretty much gonna be covered up there. And then I'm gonna put a little one down there in the corner. So, so that looks nice. I'm gonna glue that down. trying to get things straight. <laughs> there we go. I think that is so pretty. So now we just need our greeting. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to emboss hello in white on that green piece. So I'm bringing in my Versamark my embossing buddy. I don't know if you noticed, I keep my Versamark upside down because, um, you know, our flip pads, they automatically store upside down.
but these don't so I always keep it upside down like that and then the pad is nice and juicy every time I want to use it so just another little tip okay so I'm gonna stamp hello and then I'm going to get my white embossing powder And this is just a piece of regular paper. Kind of use it as my funnel. A little bit more in the corner there. Does everybody know how to heat emboss? I love it, I do it a lot. I admit, I heat emboss a lot. <laughs> It's just one of those things that uh, over the years is probably one of my favorite things to do. All right, and then I'm going to bring in my heat gun. It'll burn if you're not careful. <laughs> kind of got hot. All right. So then I'm going to trim this up a little bit because that's way too long. So let's see if I put it there. Hang on one second. I decided I wanted to add some gold to this. So what I want to do, I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of this. This is that beautiful gold twine that coordinates with the Forever Fern Suite. It's so yummy. So I'm just going to cut off a little bit of that. As you can see, I wrapped it around my fingers. I kind of call that twirling sometimes. And then I'm just going to stick that down to the back of my words. Like that. Isn't that cute? Okay, so now I need dimensionals. So I'm going to stick that down with dimensionals. Do all the stamp sets work on the clear blocks? Yes. Because um, we used to have the wood mounted stamps and um, we don't have the wood blocks anymore. So you either get the photopolymer, which is the clear rubber, or you get the cling stamps, which is what I'm using tonight. And for either ones, you'll need the clear acrylic blocks for those. So thanks for asking, Michelle. So I'm gonna stick that down there. And then, that's really pretty, but last. Um, so my ordering incentive for June was with a $50 order from the new catalog, you're going to get these gold gilded gems. They are so pretty. Um, as you can see, I've used them quite a bit already. And a couple of you have already earned them. They're on back order right now, but I have not forgotten. So as soon as they come in, I'm going to order a bunch. And if you've placed your $50 order, you're going to get a package of these in the mail. But I'm going to put a couple of these on my card because I think they're pretty. Um, so I got my pokey tool, that kind of makes it easier, and I just go in and pick them up and stick them down. And again, this is all like totally random. Um, I'm going to do a medium sized one up here at the top. So there. 
you guys like the watercolor wash technique. Um, again, you could have done it all in one color if you wanted. Um, I just kind of wanted to show how I do it, you know, because you need to blend a little bit more. But in any case, it's kind of a really easy technique. You don't need a whole bunch of stuff. Um, the Aqua Painters are... Um, I think you get a three pack for $12. And so, um, you know, they're inexpensive. And, and like I said, you can, you know, it's just a really easy technique to do. And it adds a lot of pizzazz to your projects. So, yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Oh, Michelle got her order. That's awesome. I'm excited for you. <laughs> I actually placed one that has not arrived yet, so um, hopefully soon. I know that they're working as hard as they can, um, and I know that COVID has been really hard, so kudos to them for being able to stay open through the whole pandemic. That's, you know, I really try to focus on the positive, and so I've been very thankful that Stampin' Up! has been able to you know, we've had some issues, but for the most part, they've been able to continue operating, so that's great. Um, so yeah, that was my project for tonight. Um, I hope you guys liked it, and I hope that you'll be back next week. And if you have any ideas of something <laughs> that you want me to do, I'm happy to hear them. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. And I will see you next week. Have a good night, everybody.